Welcome to Red Shirt Scale Modeling. This is part 10 of the MTU Star Trek Enterprise. Scale is 1 to 650. Now this is the Constitution class Enterprise and I'm building this as a what if. As What I mean by that is uh, what if um, someone else built the Enterprise or what if there was an all star fleet. So in that vein I'm painting this in a tartan colour. The reason for that is all explained in the intro video. Uh, in part one, if you haven't watched it yet, jump back there and have a look and you'll, you'll get to understand why I'm painting it this way. But it's just for a, a bit of fun, it's something I like to do from time to time. Um, I understand it won't be for everyone, but um, I, I build these models for me, you know, so and that's that. So in this part, I'm going to be uh, carrying on with the pattern paintwork. So putting down uh, some more colours, masking off and the likes of that as well. I'm also going to be starting putting down some of the uh, block colours other than the tartan as well. So um, all that being said, let's jump into this and see how well I get on. Starting where I left off, it's time to do some remasking for the next colour. Uh, the, um, this one is uh, more simpler than the other colours. It's just one solid line. So um, I'm just putting the uh, shortened, well, not shortened, the thinner strips of masking tape in between the yellow borders. Again, I apologise for my head getting in the way. Um, I thought I'd positioned the camera so um, that didn't happen, but there you go. Such is life. So once one part of the masking tape's in, the next uh, part goes on. Now these uh, pieces of masking tape have been measured and cut down to size. That there was no need to um, put a third uh, piece of masking tape down here to create the channel and um, it was because of the the amount of room um, it was easier just to cut down one straight piece of masking tape uh, so both are the same size so I can create that channel and as I said when I was making up the paint I decided not to use the red that I, uh, I made up so I'm just using a, a normal red here and um, yeah it's not going to be metallic but it is gloss so I'm using Rebel Aquacolor 31 Fiery Red for this and it's the same process on the bottom stuff just painting in the uh, red here I should point out as well that the masking tape has been varnished so uh, I don't get any paint bleed or very little so the paint's dried and I'm just uh, re-varnishing it to uh, protect the paintwork before I put on the next set of masking tape and I start off with the warp themselves uh, for the next set and um, the, the masking process is exactly the same I'm just going uh, uh, the opposite way obviously so once more just building up these colours until I'm satisfied with the tone that I get so the masking tape's on it's been painted and it's time to remove the masking tape now it's all dry and I'll just gently peel away the masking tape. And now you can see the grid start to form. Now if you do get any uh, blades, I, I got a couple. Um, and that is a, a simple uh, thing to touch up. Um, you can do it by freehand or remasking. It depends how you feel. I mean, um, I, I, I'm just uh, freehanding it this time around because the, the, um, the, the parts that need to be to be repainted but minuscule and I'm also taking this opportunity to to um, repaint any of the blue that has uh, had any marks or something put on it just a light colour just as I said just to um, touch up and tidy up any area I'm also at this point taking off the masking tape on the edge of the saucer section I should have done this um, earlier really um, but uh, I did keep it on just in case my paintbrush slipped and I ended up going on to the lines because that would have been a, a, a bit of a problem I would have had to strip it all and remask it which um, I wouldn't have wanted to do obviously so I'll just hold it to the camera hopefully you can see the lines that are painted on the edge now that uh, that's painted I'm moving on to some more of the block colours and I'm using Rebel Aqua Colour 91 Steel um, there's a, for this uh, choice of colour, there's no rhyme or reason, um, I just thought the sort of steel colour would uh, look better against the blue, yellows and reds. 
So I'm, I'm painting the framework of the um, impulse engines here. Then I'm using Humbrol 53 gun metal, and this is for the space that goes between the buzzard collectors and the nacelle itself. There's just a little groove uh, indentation really that goes right around that I'm using this colour for. And the same colour again for these uh, parts here. I'm not sure exactly what they're for, but uh, I put them into the gun metal colour anyway. Then it's back to Rebel Aqua 91 steel for the end part of the nacelle. The, the um, domed area, that's uh, still ma masked off. I actually noticed while I was painting this, there was a bit of masking tape had peeled off. So um, the, the domed area has got a little bit of unwanted paint on it, which I'll have to address. But before I do that, I'll just paint in these uh, block colours. I was in two minds uh, what colour to paint the deflector dish area, but I decided just to uh, paint it in the 91 steel uh, like everything else. Uh, only, only reason really is because I had that paint in hand. And the shuttle bay door is going to get the same colour as, as well. So hopefully you can just about make it out there, the shuttle bay door. Um, on the um, side of the deflector area, I'm, I'm just changing the colour slightly to the 91 steel, again just to give it a bit of co contrast. So it's time to remove this uh, masking tape. I wasn't actually going to be removing this masking tape at this stage, but because I noticed there was a, a bit of masking tape had uh, just peeled off, I'm having to take, take it off now and uh, remove the paint. And this is what I'm doing now. And I'm just using um, the edge of, of a dull down blade just to scrape away the actual paint. And I'll take away the uh, masking tape for the buzzer collector just in case the same thing has happened. Um, I probably happened because I, the amount of handling that this model has, um, obviously the masking tape loses its tackiness over time, so I probably just knocked it off and, and didn't realise. Luckily the uh, buzzer collectors look okay though. And I may as well remove the masking tape for the um, nacelles as well. Uh, if you remember, that's the clear plastic parts that I uh, added into. So um, now that I've got all the masking tape off, um, I'm just going to go and rub the entire model and touch up any paint work at this stage. Now there isn't much touch up uh, work needing to be done, but it's always wise just to do it as you notice it, because um, there's a chance you, you may miss it later on down the line. So if you notice it, just um, just touch it up and um, wait till it dries before your next process. And it's another coat of varnish uh, in prep for the next uh, stage of, of the painting. And um, I'm going to leave this for at least two to three days and to make sure everything is completely dry before going on to the next stage. And this is well end part 10. I've got a couple of things left to do on it, um, but um, as I speak, the the model's on the bench and it's uh, just drying away. And uh, so in a couple of days, I'll go back to it and do, start the next process. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel for my other builds? Uh, there may be something there for you to look at. There's um, a few Star Trek things there if you're into that sort of thing. Um, some uh, ships, um, armor, uh, a bit of everything, really. I, I, I tried to do um, a whole varied things for people to have a look at. Whether they're any good or not, well, that's for people to decide. I just enjoy building the way I do. So if you're there, hit the subscribe button. And um, if you do, don't uh, forget to hit the notification bell to be kept up to date. Not only for this bill, but all my future bills as well, of course. Hit the like button. Don't be afraid to leave a comment. I do try to reply to as much as I can, and uh, of course you can share the video. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.